remembers that little wall that I made. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I say weekly vlog like that because I don't know how much I'm going to film. Basically my last vlog were a bunch of random footage from a couple of weeks ago and then like two days and it's already like 17 minutes long. So when I feel like there's enough footage for it to be a vlog, then it's going to be a vlog. I'm going to call it a weekly vlog but who knows if it's a couple of days. I'm just going to try and vlog as much as I can. Today is actually Friday and I have been editing all morning. It's now like half past 12 in the afternoon. I literally have edited all morning morning long because I had that much footage. I had like an hour and 35 minutes worth of content that I needed to get down to like which ended up being actually 17 minutes long. I'm just currently uploading on my laptop right there. My room is such a mess. I say this in every vlog clip apparently but my room is such a mess. I'm going to show you in a second. Don't know how it happens. I clean it every single day and it just ends up getting like this and it's just disgusting and gross and I don't know what to do. I think it's because my room's so cluttered so at some point during this vlog I do want to like go through my room. I know Anastasia's just done a big organization thing. I watched that and now I'm like, I want to change my room around. So I'm going to um, tidy my room, but first I need to make my breakfast and stuff. Also, I woke up this morning to a parcel from my mom. I've not yet opened it because I wanted to open it on my vlog camera and like vlog it all. Basically, I said on my Instagram story the other day that I couldn't get pasta anywhere. I still can't get pasta anywhere. I've looked in Ants. I literally looked in Ansomers as well for the penis pasta. Can't find anything anywhere. So I mentioned it to my mom and she has a bunch of pasta at home. So she was like, I'll just send you some down. We have loads here because that's pretty much all my parents eat as well. And also I found that there's different different things in Sheffield supermarkets as opposed to London. I feel like London's literally got nothing. Whereas back home, my mum's been able to get like toilet rolls and stuff. She's also sent me some toilet rolls because we are running out and there's literally none anywhere. So my mum's coming through, saving the day, providing us with the goods. So I'm gonna open that in a second. I'm gonna make my bed and then we'll open it on my bed. But right now, this is the current state of my room. And yes, I did have Domino's. If you watched the last vlog, I had Domino's. It was so good. I even saved a bit and took it to bed with me, which is why it's on the side of my bed. But we're gonna ignore that and we're just gonna get on with today. Right, I'm gonna open this parcel now just because my mom's just tried ringing me and I know she's ringing me to ask if I received the parcel. So I wanna have opened it beforehand. Here we go. Oh my God, it's actually like wrapped like an actual, oh, this is so cute. Oh, she's put sweets in there as well. Oh, this is so fucking cute. So as you can see, we've got three bags of pasta. Love this. Oh, she's so cute. Loads of toilet rolls, as you can see. And then she's put some little Easter things in. Oh, she's got us all a little Lindo bunny. How fucking cute is that? Hi, I literally just opened it now. I, it came this morning, but I've been editing all like all morning, so I didn't want to open it because I would literally like I just need to get this done. Um, all right, okay. So I just opened it. Thanks for the little um, Easter egg thing, by the way. Really cute. Oh, uh, there an Easter egg for each of you. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go and give them to them. Oh, thank you. you. I said I'm not giving them yet. I've just opened it now, so I'm gonna go and give them as in Freya. Right, I just got all dressed and ready. I've just been on the phone to my mum, as you'll have seen. This is my little outfit. I really like this outfit. I think it's really cozy and really, like, fun. I've not wore this. I need to stop saying fun. I literally have just been filming some Instagram stories, unboxing and some parcels and stuff. And, um, I keep saying fun and it drives me insane. But I got the hat, the clockwork orange hat that I wore and got in the last vlog. And then I haven't worn this cardigan in such a long time. I found it in my wardrobe, but I think it goes nicely with this hat and then I just literally got a white t-shirt on this little Louis Vuitton this is really cool actually a little Louis Vuitton chain and then I just have some jeans on these jeans are on sale right now on ASOS for £15 and they honestly my favourite jeans they're meant to be high-waisted but I don't really like high-waisted jeans especially when I'm wearing my t-shirt untucked so I just literally wear them on my waist and yeah they're really nice really nice length and I just have my slippers on because I'm staying in the house all day I want to get rid of all this shit by the side of my mirror but it's all stuff that I need to depop so if you see anything here that takes your fancy it'll be on my depop at some point however with all the stuff that's happening right now the post is unpredictable so i don't want to start doing like depopping stuff and then not being able to send any orders out so that's just going to stay there for now but i just tidied my room still uploading my vlog right there i'm gonna go into the kitchen now and make myself some food down yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so down yeah can you tell me why can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine no um, so I may have some explaining to do. I actually didn't vlog anything yesterday. I basically woke up, as you'll have seen, started my vlog, started getting ready to put to my mom and stuff, made my breakfast, and then I just kind of sat on the sofa on my laptop doing uni work because I realised that my project's still got to go on. We've not heard anything from uni. It's really stressing me out. All the class have literally emailed numerous times, and my lecturer's just saying, we're working on it, and I'm like, <laughs> 
But it did make me realise that I also need to be working on it, and by working on it I mean my actual project because I'm gonna have to hand it in at some point. It's not like it's gonna get cancelled, I don't think. I'm just doing uni work today. I need to film a main channel video, but I honestly don't know what to film. I have a bunch of ideas, but the execution of those ideas is just not happening right now, you know? Right everyone, I've been trying to do uni work for the past God knows how long, I've literally been in my room all day long. It's now like half five in the afternoon and I just can't do anything. Like I really, really am struggling. My brain just won't. I, I feel so dumb that like I can't physically do anything. Like I've tried to stop doing uni work and try to plan videos and try to film videos and I set my entire setup to film a main channel video and I just sat there and like, I, I can't do this. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I don't know how to speak words or what the hell's happening. So I've decided after sitting in my bed for a little while and watching YouTube videos, I'm gonna transform my room. So at least I feel like I've done something productive today. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. I've just been looking back on my old vlog, like times I moved around my room around before. I really like this section of my room when I look at it from here. So when I look at the bed and then that with the greenery there and then this little rack, I like that. I hate my desk area with a passion. So I feel like I just need to do something with this entire space and just move it around. I hate this area as well. Ignore the pizza. That's what I had for lunch. I hate that there's all this everywhere, but I can't do anything with this because I thought in my head, I basically cancelled my gym membership because I was scared of the gym but I still wanted to work out, bought this bench and now it just sits there because I don't use it. So this is just clutter in my room and it's pissing me off. I need a better organisation for my shoes because that just gives me issues, makes me nervous. I don't like it. I'm not feeling it. Everything is just a mess. I feel like I need to do one big clean. I hate that this box is on there. I hate that there's all this stuff on here. I'm just, I'm stressed. I'm stressed and I don't deal well with stress. I don't know how to process it. So this is me processing stress. I'm gonna rip my room apart and I have no plan for this. I'm just literally gonna wing it and see what happens. <laughs> for a main channel video and then deleted the video like two minutes after it were uploaded. But if you saw that, or you remember the vlogs actually, I had this set up for my room when I first moved in, apart from my bed were here. I did this lovely more, so if you've been subscribed to my vlog channel for as long as this, then you've been here a while. Nearly two years actually done. But I forgot that I didn't take all this down, I just put my wardrobe in front of it. So we've got a lovely little art wall going off here. My desk is now on this side of my room in this little corner, which I really, really like. Like I like this situation with the mirror there as well. Probably won't keep the mirror there, just because my bed's gonna obviously have to be up against this back wall. But this is the current situation. All this shit on here is just, that's my bed and that's my bed. And I don't know what the hell's happening. Um, the wardrobes are now back. When I very first moved in, this is how the wardrobes were. So I've just put it back. I just literally put it back to how it was. And then, in fact, when I very first moved in that, oh no, that, that weren't there. That used to be on that wall and my bed used to be here. I'm sort of playing around with this area still, still figuring this out. That's the situation. I have so many pairs of shoes that I honestly never realized. I have counted like 35 pairs of shoes in my wardrobe. They're all in the bottom of my wardrobe. There's literally like 35 pairs of shoes you can't see obviously, but like it's a mess. I need to really go through and like get rid of shit because I have so much stuff just everywhere. I need to do like a massive depop or just something because there's absolutely no way when we come to move out in September that my mum's gonna be able to get my entire bedroom right now with everything in it up to a new place. That That's not happening. Like, it's really not. I need to sort it out all before then. I just have a really bad shopping. I have an addiction, like a weird thing for, like, sh for clothes. I have a shopping addiction. Holding my hands up. There, said it. When I say this is second hours, I mean absolute hours and I kind of hate it. So we're just gonna deal with it because there's nothing I can do now. And this is the last time I'll change my room around before we move out. But ta-da. Oh, it's literally not even in focus. Here we are. It literally just makes the room feel smaller. I kind of hate it. For I said it makes it feel bigger, but I'm just don't agree. So as you can see, put all the wardrobes against the back wall, have this little section. I so wish when I moved in here, I knew I were going to be in here for two years because I would have had one of those like Ikea wardrobes that go up to the very ceiling fitted and it's all mirrored glass. Like I would love that. That would have been so sick. And now this is obviously where my mirror is. Hi, I'm tired and look gross. And this little area here, I like this. Like I've given myself multiple filming backgrounds, which I like, but as a space I'm just going to be in, I kind of hate it because I could like film here. Like obviously if the lights and stuff 
stuff weren't there. That's a cute background to film in front of. Then have my clothing rail here. I need to go through this and tick things off that I don't wear as often and like put stuff that I'm liking a lot more on there. My shoes kind of organized a bit better on the bottom. Ignore this. This needs to pop in, but um, I've not had a chance to do that yet. My little whatever this is where I sit and put, put my shoes on. It's got storage in it. Just put my slippers on there. This stuff I've got to shoot tomorrow, so it's out, so I remember to do it. And then this is my little desk area. Like, imagine me filming here as well. I've given myself more filming locations, which is kind of fun. However, just as a room, I think the entire room's not my vibe anymore. And I feel like a lot of you all agree. And obviously my bed's just there. But I just feel like like this rug is just not my vibe anymore. I, like, I'm more into industrial looking things. It's very bohemian in here. I do like this little corner, not gonna lie. But I think it's more just because of like the greenery that kind of works nice. But I think my vibe's more like industrial-esque, like this black pole in. Like, I like the black pole and then like the grey shoe boxes and like, the fact that the Nike shoes are there. I just feel like my space needs to be a bit more grungy and a bit less like tumbler. But also because we rent in this place, some of the furniture did in fact come with it. Obviously the bed came with it, so we can't get rid of the bed. This little side table, I'd have a different one. I'd like get like a metal looking one that's like a metal locker type vibe. There's just a lot of things in here that I just don't think are very like 2020 Byron, you know? But we do have some fun little filming backgrounds that could be quite cool. And I'm just, just over it. Oh, I've been sat at my desk for like an hour. And all I want to do is get in bed. It's now 1am, so that's fun. I love you a lot, and I'll check to you in the morning. Good night, stay safe, all that fun stuff. Um, I'll figure my shit out, don't worry about me.